Mr. Biz Biv. Wub, 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 wub. And I'm back with some Disco Elysium. Haven't left it too long. Um, and I'm hoping that I can work out what caused my morale to just drop. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled. Maybe he doesn't like being around the dead body for too long. That could be a good. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Mm. You seem to be holding your breath. Look away. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Go over your nose without throwing up. Activity K. It took it to throw up with his own. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cops gonna blow Kuno! His ladder is reeking, but it's still climbable. Wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. Someone's trying to grow herbs in the greenhouse. Uh, take off. Got some magnesium and some money. This winch mechanism has been oxidized for some years. So should I try and do this again and see what happens? Because he just took a massive... There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Uh, Lieutenant. Noted. Um, leave. So I didn't take a massive hit for that. In the dick, you know. Um, so I don't know why I took a massive morale hit. Maybe it was because of how hungover I am. Dog worker shift card. Yellow gardening gloves. Oh, so I put on the yellow gardening gloves. Um, still a bit fiddly on the old controls, I find. But there he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all. No. That looks blocked off, unless... An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Etonite. That's why they're too orderly. Oh, the panels are signed. You see a shabby little door. What is it then? Tool what is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. I think we shall. You gotta have a little bit of a recce, don't you? I mean... Who doesn't want to see what's inside a secretly hidden base? Lots of things. 
Silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Poster says, get out of the way or get fucked up. Money. Cured pig's head. It looks mummified. Empty tube of magsolium magnesium supplements. A way up. Say, so, you know, if you are viewing, then thank you kindly. Hope you're having a lovely day. Okay, so I can't get it from there. You could have just said that instead of walking me around like a pl plank. This doorway is going to collapse soon. Book it! So, can I. I can presumably. What? Level up. Can't do that yet. So we've got a postcard grand carrion. An ill advised residential area overlooking the Jamrock area. Who made the call reporting the crime? Call Sylvie using Kim's shortwave to ask whether she made the call. The preliminary inspection you just need to surpass the urge to throw up and approach it. To report your missing badge to the 41st precinct as soon as possible, the lieutenant said you should use the radio in his motor car to call the station. Sing karaoke. Get hold of a sad song on tape. So I've got some strange objectives, but have also seen that bit I wanted to see. So I guess that's something. Barrels are half full of rainwater. Can't see those from here. And back we go. And back we go. Need to find a karaoke tape. That's interesting. Um, obviously, I want to pour my soul out. That's an integral part of my character. With his encyclopedic knowledge. Magnesium supplement you rub on your chest to live a happy, magnesium-rich life. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good, vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, Points to the ladder in the corner. but that there was an interesting find. An alternative path into the harbor that the kid uses. Well done. So he doesn't mind if I take a bit of the old um I mean, I did just go up there, but now he's pointing out that the kids use it. A little bit invested in finding out whether somewhere I can use to get there as well. I don't know why I want to go to the harbour. <laughs> Sounds harborous. Har har harborous? Marvellous. 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 Simply Mahabras. Um, so where do you think they go from there? Unless it's speed, can I go from that to away? <clears throat> okay. He made it. He made 
behind it. Okay. So what's that last one? It keeps on working a million problem solution. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We'll work better together if we have more rapport. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? It looks like a people around here. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. What is Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. Uh, I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seo is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. You're only making it sound. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Reba Oh, sorry. A point of pride to him. Uh, that's all for now. Good. Let's change the subject. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it. Believe in it, even. Well, I can't must repeat this. I don't remember anything. It was a heavy drink of Have, Have you tried, tried concentrating on something other than, other than your personal, personal affairs? affairs? What should I concentrate on? I'm afraid this is a medical situation. Really? You look fine to me. Uh, Okay. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. What do you want to know? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Then you are in luck, because we are in the midst of a major strike by the Dock Workers Union. Maybe more than that. The union clearly wants a piece, not just of the industrial harbor, but the Wild Pines Corporation itself. Is this a strike then? Or the first shots in a worker's coup? I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used to the RCM's presence, and the Union rarely overplays its hand, as it appears to have done in this case. Right, so this is a strike or an attempted case? Strike, coup, revolution, it's brigandage, however you parse it. You feel something rising through you, a familiar feeling, an opinion taken form. We should ground the workers into fine paste and feed them to the pigs. We should ground the owners into fine paste and feed them into pigs. With this little foreknowledge, I am unsure which side to grind into pigs' feet. 
the decision must remain in me, also nationalism. I don't think rounding one or the other side into pig's feed would do anyone favours. I'm really, really smart. I've spent the last 20 seconds deciding on which side to ground into pig's feed. Why? Politics is habit for me, and hazardous. It is also irrelevant to police work. You're right to doubt the impulse. It might be detrimental to our task here. From an imaginary fan. Now, was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Anything about it? I can't remember a single thing. Actually, I have all I need for now. Good. <coughs> get down to that. So over here. I'm not entirely sure how to get down there. The perspective trick isn't working. Okay then. <laughs> this pack we go. I cannot work out how the kids are doing this. I might have to chase that little Kuno kid. Just no, no, I won't. So at least my morale hasn't taken a bit of pummeling this time. I was thinking I would have to restart a character, which I still may do, because I've only gone for an archetype in this time. But I might just play through and then do a creation of my own. So somehow I have to get the ability to not throw up while doing the inspection, which I do not have. Grossness warning! This next scene might spoil your lunch. There he still is, looking right through you. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you've expected. More fever than odour. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Failure. Try to walk away. Ah, uh, blue chunks. Ah, uh, lots of chunks. Ah. Uh. Too late. It's impossible to keep him. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. Thank you. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet, and your throat stings from the stomach acid. 